What is up guys, this is the gothic kitten and last time we were on our way to the bandit camp after we got sidetracked tremendously into a cave with mine crawlers and stuff, but it was interesting. We did not anticipate on this, I should have healed, never mind we're good, let's see. We have time, <laughs> do we really? Let's see. There we go. Save again with that. With the help of... Okay, blood. That's comforting. But we do like our arrows. Hmm. What's down here? if there's even anything actually down here. This is the area where we killed like some swamp sharks and stuff and found loose key for the tavern. I was gonna say we took, you know, we cleaned it up pretty good, but then this guy showed up. Like I feel like we progressed tremendously strength wise, but still. The temples give us a hard time. Especially if they have things like Kachi, oh, I don't know, um, fire demons <laughs> or whatever they were. Oh, can we tell Tom now that Esteban is gone? Because he was the avoiding the camp for his sake. What time is it? Noon, but it's bad weather. Okay. Esteban is dead. Really? Man, that's lucky. Who did it? Well, let's just say someone you know. Thanks for coming to me. Now I can go back to the camp. So that wasn't as much as I anticipated, but we'll take it. How are we doing XP wise? We need a small 5k to learn the lang either to learn the last language or to get five dexterity. I feel like getting the last language is priority. Oh no, you're also stuck, Tom. It's fine. It happens. Oh, you. I want to talk to you. Fortuno is pretty confused and could use a potion to restore his memory. Fortuno? That's Raven's servant, no? He was. Now he's just a wreck, and it's Raven's fault. Raven? Until now, I thought a lot of him. Hmm, all right. But here in the swamp, I can't brew any potions. I could brew the potion. There's an alchemist's bench in the camp. I just need the recipe. Be careful with this recipe. Brewing this potion is dangerous. If something goes wrong in the brewing, or one of the ingredients isn't right, the potion will be deadly. I'll be careful. Well, that wasn't very comforting. But that's okay, we're experts. We're very pro at this. Don't have to tell me that. We're not gonna taunt you any extra. My keyboard is so sensitive. Okay. Um. Recipe. Okay. Secretion from two bloodfly stingers. Okay, we do have that because we bought them from Fortuno. Add that to one mana extract. I'm pretty sure we'll have one. And an essence of healing. Pretty sure we have one of those. And stir a bag of red tear pepper. We do not know how to extract the secretion, do we? Hmm. So we're gonna have to learn that, actually. Well, that's not, that's not good.
Guess we're gonna learn how to take the secretion from the stingers. Might as well learn how to remove the stingers, but if I recall, it took a lot of learning points to learn those things from him. But, you know, we still have to go through the entirety of the... Wait, let's, let's pull up our map. So the left part and the north part, which is the pirate area and the canyon. We've pretty much covered except that little bit to the right. And then we've pretty much explored the entire swamp. Yeah, pretty much. Except maybe that cave to the right of us right now. But we still have that whole part on the left bottom to explore. Which could also give, uh, give us a lot of XP. Some of these creatures. Phew. So what can you teach me? About the blood flies? What do you want to know? Remove secretion from stinger. That's only one learning point though. How do I remove the secretion from the blood flies? Cut open the upper layer of the stinger lengthwise. Then the healing secretion will flow right out. That way it's completely safe to suck out a stinger. Or use it for some potions. Okay, so then all we still need... All we still need is the red tear pepper. Or tear pepper. From Zorus in Corinus. So we're gonna have to come back either way. Well, we might do that automatically every time we switch chapters just to get the most out of everything. Because there's going to be a respawn here just as well as in the other maps, I think. I hope. So then we can do like a very small episode where we run around, kill things, and finish up this quest. Or, you know, maybe the temples if they really don't work out for me. So wait, do I have to go... I have to go in the mine? Relics. Okay, I don't know what the glitch in that is. Raven. I have to get some of them out of the way in order to get to him. Well, how about this? We go into the mine first and we figure out if there's anything we can do over there that could grant us the reputation to go see Raven. We'll try that. Because it would kind of make sense. Now, is this going to be like all the other mines or. Hey, do you want to go digging? Then don't forget to stock up with Scatty. What do I need then? Well, at the very least, a pickaxe. And some provisions can't hurt. Or how about some healing potions? There are mine crawlers down there. Scatty? We liked you. How's business? Since the tomb has been open, there hasn't been much demand. Raven has no more use for his slaves. That's why they're mining gold now, on Blood One's orders. And the diggers are taking it easy. The diggers who take it easy aren't good for business. Blood One, is he in charge here? He oversees the mine. But he's almost never down here. He spends most of his time with Raven in the temple. What exactly does almost never mean? Last time I saw him was when he came out of the tomb. No wait. The last time he was here was when he sent the slaves to mine the gold. Unlike Raven, he is very interested in gold. What sort of tomb? A cursed, unlucky tomb. The guardians of the tomb have killed many men. Guardians? Are you talking about creatures of stone, rather flat with a round head? That's exactly what I mean. They came out of the depths of the stone by the dozen. I knew from the beginning that it wasn't good to dig out the tomb. But Raven was possessed with the idea of digging there. And once the tomb was finally uncovered, he marched in there with his guards. What did Raven want in the tomb? Hmm, you're pretty curious. You remind me of a fellow I once knew. He was just as curious. And eventually it was his undoing. Get to the point. What happened in the tomb? Well, 
<clears throat> My throat is really dry. Hey, Scotty, not now. This is important. So, what did Raven do there? All right. He... He called... Summoned something. He kept calling out words in a foreign language. Bright light poured out of the tomb, and then I heard a scream that cut right through me. A demonic scream. And then? That's all I know. At that moment, Bloodwind came out of the tomb and said I should beat it. And that's what I did. It also didn't take long before Raven and his boys disappeared back into the temple. And since then, Raven hasn't been seen. What do I have to know about mining gold? Take a pickaxe in your hand and whack it a lump of gold. Anyone could do that. But many nuggets will shatter that way. That's why only people who understand mining should do it. I can tell you more once you have some more experience. So now they're gonna ask learning points. Well, why not? Tell me more about gold mining. Above all, you should know that gold is an ore. It's soft as butter. If you strike too hard, everything will shatter. Every digger has his own tricks for knocking some decent nuggets out of the rock. Ultimately, these tricks are what make the difference between a digger and a good digger. Besides that, practice makes perfect. Only when you've been digging for a while will you get better. No, I figured we still had some learning points because we used that one for the secretion. Would you like a drink? A beer would really hit the spot. There's hardly any beer here in camp. But maybe Lucia still has a bottle. Maybe. There you go. Oh, that tastes good. Thanks, man. You're my hero. We can do risky. So what do you Let's have? Let's deal. <laughs> really a bunch of pickaxes. Um, we'll take all of this and... Sure, why not? Everything else should be fine. Thank you, Scatty. It was nice talking to you again. Don't mind if we take this, though. There's stuff hidden. Everywhere. We could have literally took a beer from here. So let's see. Because I do not know the layout of this mine. Hey, going to change about that. Everything all right? Nice and regular. That's the way to get the fat nuggets. Nothing's going that seems to like a lesson. Hey, you! Wait a minute. Is there a problem? Mine crawlers. Lots and lots of mine crawlers. We've run into a nest here. We have experience with that. Why don't we attack the crawlers? I asked that too. But the guards had more important things to do. Bloodwin has left it to me to remove this problem. I don't suppose you're planning to fight the crawlers. Why should I? So that we can get at the gold in the cave? Bloodwin will just take most of it for himself anyway. And I'm not risking my neck for the little bit I'd get. If you want to fight the crawlers, don't let me stop you. Only don't lure them all out here, okay? So are you already found the area for the mine crawlers? Can you tell me more about Bloodwin? Yes, he's a gold-hungry bastard. He inspects every new vein and every nugget. He can't go too far out of his way for gold. But we don't mean shit to him. And otherwise? He thinks he's the greatest and can't stand it if someone is better off than he is. Okay, I wouldn't go up against him, even so. Just stay out of his way and don't provoke him. Unless you want him to get furious and lose control. So Bloodwind hasn't changed. In case you guys missed it, Bloodwind 
If I'm not mistaken, Bloodwind is the guy that punched us in the face when we first got to the colony in the first game. Left, right, right, left. Left, right, right, left, right. So is a minecrawler nest down here? Trying to make a mental map of the mine. Jesus, there are a lot of them. Potion. Looked like it could have been a speed potion. That'd be nice. Oh, this, this area is so beautiful. Oh, we might have gotten into a pickle. There's a lot of them. Did we even save anywhere? We did not. Okay, in that case, guys, I will be right back. So here we are again. <laughs> and I don't know why I have been neglecting to use this, but... is going to be way safer. Because they were pushing me away so hard I couldn't even hit them. Now I'm, I'm wondering though, is there going to be like a minecrawler queen like in the old mine? And how does this work? What am I going to do with gold nuggets though? Wow, we wasted learning points for nothing. We have 70% now, okay. Why is there always the corpses in places? It always like, I'm like someone has come in here to check it out and Let's see. Another gold nugget. So 70% we had already. Now we have 75, I guess. on increase my percentage that's the main thing I'm doing this for and I don't even know why <laughs> okay let's see leather satchel They're not giving me any percentage anymore. Maybe we need to give gold nuggets to someone though, so then this will be beneficial. 
There's a lot of these things here. It's a good gold mine. But yeah, the, the percentage gaining, I don't know, it seems gone. Oh, we can't reach those ones high up. But that's fine, let's see if... Uh, let's see if he likes that we killed these mine crawlers. Didn't feel like a nest completely though. Hello, sir. So, that should be it. The crawlers are finished. Bloodwind is already on the way. That's what you wanted, isn't it? I mean, you slaughtered the crawlers so Bloodwind would come here. So whatever you're planning, do it now. Wait, I wasn't planning anything. I wasn't planning anything. Can I quickly still talk to everyone and then... Who told you that? Wait, we're gonna save right now, because he's still there. Can you judge my gold digging abilities? For you, I'd say you're uh, a damn good digger. Nice. Back at work? Yeah, now I'm getting the very last piece of gold out of this mine. I couldn't care less. Hey, you! What's up? I'm really slaving away. Well, the main thing is I won't get eaten by a crawler. Tell me that is true. Let's see. Hey, you! What are you doing? Are you melting down your gold? No, I'm washing vegetables. Of course I'm melting down gold. And I'm making coins out of it. Because just imagine, one fine evening, Raven comes along and shoves a coin die in my hands. Out of one single gold nugget, I can mint a heap of coins. I'm so good that no one can tell the difference. Hmm. How many coins will you give me for one nugget? Well, I don't know you at all, but I'll make you a special price. For one nugget, I'll give you ten gold pieces. Oh, nice. Well, first, let's take your money. Let's haggle. Mm, no. That's the standard price everyone gets. I thought that was a special price. It is. Everyone here is special to me. What do you know about Raven? You won't believe it. I was there. I saw what he did in the tomb. He mumbled and called some strange words over and over. Cardimon, Fatang Shatar, Fatang Beliar. And then a blazing light came out of the tomb and I heard the scream. Oh, ye gods, that voice. That was the sound of the end of the world. Raven spoke with it. They conversed. Raven and that voice. I can't remember what they said. I just know that I could only master my limbs again many hours later, back in the camp. How come everybody saw him do this? Let's trade. Nice. Let's see. Hey, where are you going? Do you want to go into this passage? Maybe. Oh, sure, why not? There are even more slaves back there. As far as I'm concerned, you can go in, but don't hit them so hard they can't work anymore. After all, we certainly don't want them just sitting around. They have to dig for gold. I see. And who ordered that? That is a direct order from Bloodwind. I thought Raven was the boss here. Right, but he gave the slaves to Bloodwind. He doesn't have any more use for them. Let the slaves go. Listen. Bloodwind is in command here. The slaves belong to him, so he has the right to set them free. Besides, Thoris also has a say in that. 
And what about you? Do you have any say? I decide who goes into the mine. You're doing Esteban's old job. Then you have absolutely no say here. Buzz off. Okay, so I guess I know why Bloodwin was there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and hopefully we can... We don't need him for anything anymore. But if he doesn't go back though, that gives me time. And it doesn't seem like it. He's probably still in that um, cavern. But yeah, I feel... I feel like we're gonna have to kill him. And that's fine. Just want to make sure I don't miss out on anything. And I'm curious if we're going to find... Are these the farmers? Hey, hey I'm alright. But Pardis is pretty much down and out. If there's anything you want, talk to Patrick. He's our spokesman. Hey, you. What do you want? I'm just an imprisoned worker. I haven't done a thing. So I think these are the guys that disappeared from... Uh, Elvridge farm? I'll kill them for you guys. Hey! I've been sent by the water mages. I've come to free you. Really? Why should I believe you? Do you want to get out of here or not? Of course I want to get out, but... Uh... Vatra sent me. If that's not enough for you, you can all rot in this hole for all I care. All right, I believe you. Really? Wow, that went faster than I thought. Okay, now all we need is a plan. Trying to flee poses a great risk. William tried and he bought it. Prisoners are peasants and workers. They trust me, but they won't dare to mount an escape. Will I have to kill all the bandits before you budge at all? But that would be insane. But that can't be the plan. Just see to it that the guards don't attack us and then we'll get out of here. Okay, I'll handle that. Tell the others to get ready. Let's see, because this is becoming quite an episode already. So they said that this guy was pretty much done for. How are you holding up? I'm beat. Completely worn out. Is it a glorious sunny day or one of those clear nights where a thousand stars are twinkling? I don't know. Where's the gentle rain of summer? The cool evening breeze? I can feel them no longer. It's the eyes that go first in here. Hang in there. Your rescue is near. Thanks. Thanks for your words. Here, drink this. I said drink this. Well... Here, have some meat stew. Thank you. Nice. I feel a little stronger now. Thanks. That does me good. How are you now? Better. Thanks to you, I can feel my strength returning. That's great. Hey, you! Hey, how's it going? I'm alive. That's all I care about. If you've got something to discuss, Patrick's your man. What do I have to know about mining gold? Well, the angle at which you strike is crucial for efficient mining. Not too flat and not too steep. That way, you'll get the nuggets and make your pick hold up forever. Uh, I don't know some of these people or I don't remember their names, but... I guess I should call it an episode though. So next time we're gonna continue going through this mine and seeing if we can free the slave for the water mages. I hope you guys had a great time and I will see you next time on the Scratching Post.